Okay, I had to eliminate the introductory video because it was too windy outside and you couldn't hear me. Um, this was very difficult for me. It was awkward for me trying to talk in the store even though I had permission. So please bear with me on this video. I'm inside and Cole tells me they are expanding their bourbon section. They got a lot of new bourbons here since the last time I was here. I really like the Lucky 7 collection. And I have the workhorse at home. But the holdup in the Frenchman look interesting. These two bottles right here look really interesting. The High and Wicked series. If anyone knows anything about that, leave a comment below. Oh, I like the Sagamores. And the phone's going off the hook here. Cole, when you get a chance, what do you got that 18 for? Knob Creek. Someone I was just Oh, that's good. Tough to find a Jack Daniels over 130. <laughs> I don't know, forget that. That's, that's a nice price on that 1910. I don't see that around too much. interesting I don't think I see the Nashville straight rye whiskey seagrass I need to try that again the senator got some really nice bottles here Pin hook. What'd you say about the curly again, Cole? Just brought that one in. Did you say it was wild turkey? Rumored to be older wild turkey. Okay. Basil Hayden. And right here, this is where you go to get your Elijah Craig toasted barrel. Always at that price. Phenomenal price. Don't be raising that price up on me. Remember, not until we sell our 500 It's a New York State bourbon, Great Jones. Oh, you're good. I'll walk around. Let's 
see what they have behind me. How much you guys sell the McKenna for? I always could use a backup of that. good that's about the that's about as good of a price as you're going to see in western new york if you enjoyed the video smash the like button leave a comment below and subscribe